beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. Witness the speed. Experience the thrill. Hi, Laurel Park Racing fans, and welcome to Thursday's replays here at Laurel Park. It's right, racing now Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with a 110 post time for the rest of the Laurel Park summer meet until the racing scene shifts over to Timonium. A reminder coming up on Friday, it's another $100,000 Stronic 5, two of the five races here at Laurel. We'll start off our Stronic 5 with a $100,000 guarantee here at Laurel Park with our 8th and 9th, and move on to Gulfstream Park for their 7th, 8th, and 9th. That's the Stronic 5 sequence. You'll want to be in that number for the $100,000 Stronic 5 on Friday afternoon. Let's get to the action from Thursday. The track rated fast for the opener. The turf is good. On the turf, the all along the dolly of the two turf course runs we'll use for Thursday with the rail at the zero setting on the all along and 52 feet out for the dolly turf course. Here's the first race in our pick five. In the gate. And they're off. From between Fishman, the Quantico Kid, also Irish Town with early speed, and here is Night Code making four in a line. So going on now, Fishman, the inside is the Quantico Kid, and Night Code is on the outside. Irish Town taken back in tight there. Another two to Tom Cat Black, and Phony is last, six lengths on the front. Into the turn with Fishman on the inside, Night Code on the outside. They're head to head now with Irish Town in third position as Racing Room, and the Quantico Kid down inside there in fourth. They're followed by Tom Cat Black is now trying to circle up three wide and Phony the far outside. Only four lengths covers them. Fishman, Night Code continue to knock heads. That opening quarter went 23.03. Joined by three wide Irish Town. The orange colors. The far outside Tom Cat Black tries to level into the stretch with four across the track now. A half in 46.82. Night Code perhaps ahead in front from Tom Cat Black and Irish Town in between horses. Fishman's giving it a good go to try to come back on the inside. Night Code just in front. Night Code holding off Fishman. Night Code, Night Code Fishman. Irish Town in that photo for third with Tom Cat Black and the Quantico Kid. And they're off. Angelina Starr burst away first from weekends for work in Ginger in disguise and Glottonasa in the second grouping. D in the red cap at the outside about the five path and joyful noises in the back. Led by Angelina Starr heading for the turn. Angelina Starr is in for a length and a half from Glottonasa in second and weekends for work in Ginger in disguise. Oh, there's some tight quarters there for Ginger in disguise and weekends for work. They were both shuffled back to the back of the pack as they round the turn with three furlongs to go. Angelina Starr half in front 
one from Glottonossa. D up there three wide with pace two. Joyful Noise just in behind them, racing in the fourth spot. The opening quarter, 22.14. Top of the stretch, they make the turn in. Angelina Starr, D out there, the red cap. In between horses, Glottonossa. And Joyful Noise levels in the center of the track is coming on as well. Then Ginger in disguise. Weekends for work. Half and 46.06 through the stretch. It's Joyful Noise, Joyful Noise, and Ginger in disguise on the outside coming late. Joyful Noise from Ginger in disguise. Joyful Noise, length and a half, Ginger in disguise. D was third, Angelina Starr. Minute 5.09 the time. And they're off. Don't fight a beat slow to begin. And so was C Story at the back of the pack. Tempted by Tito's firing out from Little Skip of the inside and Surplus Gold. Here's Kitty Zip racing forwardly now. Kitty Zip right into second. Reluctant to load Kitty Zip. All the way up to the second spot. Charging for the turn run. English Eris is in fifth. The inside is Epic Idea in sixth. And my sister's keeper and Don't Fight at the back with C Story last of them all. 14 from the front as they round that turn. Kitty Zip ahead in front now from Tempted by Tito's a surplus gold called on for run from third position. Just in behind them there is Little Skiff searching for a bit of racing room. Little Skiff needs a place to go in some traffic. Shifting a little bit is my sister's keeper. Also epic ideas right there. Into the stretch about the furlong left to go. The outside my sister's keeper is just in front from surplus gold getting through now. Little Skiff, Little Skiff out of traffic and C story from dead last closing on the outside. Little Skiff in front. Little Skiff from my sister's keeper. Photo third between surplus gold and C story and they're followed by epic idea don't fight Waiting for Rapidan. Settle. And they're off. Grand Flora broke sharp at the bobbled. Triple burner Rapidan with early speed. They're joined by more abundance. And Actabante is in between horses. Will settle right off the pace. And Daily News moving up on the outside with pace two. So it is more abundance ahead in front from Rapidan with Daily News third of the outside. Triple burner Actabante. They're only two and a half or three from the front. And they're followed by Joseph and Grandiflora last. Some 11 to make up into the far turn run. Where the leader is Rapidan who gets away from more abundance by three quarters 
quarters of a length. Daily News outside in third position, and Joseph out wide there in fourth. Triple Bernard out of the inside. Acta Bonte still with a half dozen to make up. Into the stretch, about a quarter of a mile left to go. Rapid Dan kicks on with a battling more abundance, willing to come back from orbit. Joseph there on the outside, leveling off now, and here comes Joseph. Rapid Dan and Joseph on the outside. More abundance down toward the inside with a 16th left. Acta Bonte is in fourth. Here's Joseph outside, continue momentum, more abundance coming back for more. Rapid Dan in between horses, photo finish, maybe more abundance on the inside. Rosales maybe with two at nine to one. It's a photo finish though, very tight. They're off. Quality matters. The outside trying to get out to that early lead, but caught out there about five, six deep into the turn. In the meantime, Grays of Glory. Press release up there and subdued in between horses and coffee, please. As quality matters, will settle to the back of the pack and last is Son of a Pony. The leader is Grays of Glory under Carrasco, leads by two lengths as they pass now the seven days. So leading the way is Grays of Glory through an opening quarter there. And... Uh, 24.45, length and a half in front from Subdued in second, and Coffee Please in the clear from third position, press releases in fourth. Quality Matters is second last position at an even pace at this point, and it's Son of a Pony who trailing the field. A dozen lengths will cover them, five furlongs left to go. Grays of Glory. Moving right along with Subdued in second length behind. Coffee please a close third, another four, and it's press release in fourth. Quality matters. Still second last position, and Son of a Pony is in the back. Not much change. Through a 48-82 half mile. Grays of Glory leads Subdued, and Coffee please right there, looming up well, three deep under a ride. Press release. Here is Quality matters. Still about 11 lengths in the front as they move now with two and a half furlongs left to go. Grays of Glory and Subdued head to head with Coffee please fully ridden from third position. Position, press release and quality matters still with seven lengths to make up and last son of a pony six in a minute 13.24 into the stretch now subdued on the outside at grays of glory head to head for the lead and it is coffee please in third and quality matters out of the center of the track lingers along in fourth it's grays of glory stubbornly hanging on the lead grays of glory from subdued grays of glory very tenacious under carrasco to take it all the way grays of glory from subdued to win it by a length quality matters finished third and coffee please was fourth and son of a pony. And they're off.
coming in cozy with a sharp start. Who are you going to call? And something magical's right there, too. We'll settle back. So comfy and cozy, pushed along a bit by who are you going to call on the outside as something magical is taken back to third position about three to four lengths off the pace. Or Tenolis from between horses now pushing just into the fourth spot. And Belial and the Red Silks in between horses is Sunrise Bernstein racing in the back. Irony of reality and Justice Coach. Only six lengths front to back. Comfy and cozy with who are you going to call to test the issue through an opening quarter. 24.01. Centeno has something magical right off the lead in third position in the clear. Then Belial is racing along in fourth spot. Outside is Justice Coach is trying to improve in mid-race. And in between horses, Ortinola, Sunrise, Bernstini, and last is Irony of Reality. Comfy and cozy and who you going to call still 1-2 with something magical remaining third outside through a 49.06 half mile with Belial down inside with every chance there as they head into the far turn run. And the outside is just a scotch. Just a scotch now pushes into fourth. Belial has now slipped to the back of the pack. Ortinola back there with Iron of Reality trying to rally on the outside. Irony of Reality into fourth now and Sunrise Bernstini's out in the clear too. Top of the stretch with Comfy and Cozy with a six for long 114.47. The outside there is Irony of Reality and something magical in between horses to make three in a line and Sunrise Bernstini is fourth. Irony of Reality has the kick for the final furlong. Sunrise Bernstini charges through it opening on the inside and something magical pitching away to right there. It is Irony of Reality. Something magical drifting Irony of Reality. Sunrise Bernstini on the inside. Photo finish. Three-way go. Three-way photo. Something magical there with Sunrise Bernstini. Irony of Reality drifting outside. Photo finish. And end result, two to one on reflected. In a rough. Hip out was out first. Here's Ms. Eileen flashing up and sent along for speed as glittering Judy and end result on the outside on the chase from fourth. Tobago just out kicked by the pace from fifth and Misty on point and reflected is in the back, some nine to make up. Heading on for the far turn, Ms. Eileen hip hop and glittering Judy, three of them in a the line at a spirited pace into the far turn run and result sits in fourth position and here's Tobago looking good there from fifth on the inside. Misty on point is next in six and reflected is in the back still would tend to make up. Hip, hop, top of the stretch. Hip, hop as the lightning flashes here at Laurel Park and the outside glittering Judy and the outside glittering Judy tries to sustain but drifting a little wide and now Tobago still got a chance. Tobago's coming at hip, hop, hip, Hop, trying to go non-stop. Tobago coming on. Hip, hop in the 16th pole. Tobago on the outside. Hip, hop, Tobago. Tobago's got it. Tobago and Vargas just in time to win it. Bum, hip, hop by a half length. Reflected is in the photo there with glittering Judy and Misty on point.
and are off. In flight gets the first call from the gate. My Lily Rose with a good break, too, and Smokin' Princess there on the inside. Here's Hainted racing up close there in fourth and orbiting the moon down to the inside in fifth. Keep up the message, and Queens or Better is in the back as in flight leads from My Lily Rose by a neck as they pass the 5A. Smokin' Princess asks the question early from third, and Hainted is in fourth spot, and they're followed by Keep Up the Message, fifth, orbiting the moon down inside six, about a half dozen from the pace, and Queens or Better is in the back. On the good track, the opening quarter in 23.50 in flight in front from my lily rose in second the outside is hated just in third keep up the message and smoke and princess to the inside is three and a half from the leader and it's back to queens or better and orbiting the moon down to the inside now past that two and a half for a long mark and my lily rose comes to take the lead from in flight and smoke and princess right there they're a 48.39 half mile just in behind them is orbiting the moon orbiting the moon has cut the corner orbiting the moon now in between horses finding some daylight though they head high in the air now in a bit of traffic head to steady orbiting the moon has to switch to the outside but just one an even clip it's smoking princess in front by three from my lily rose and orbiting the moon third and keep up the message in four smoking princess smoking princess gone by six smoking princess from orbiting the moon my lily rose keep up the message and queens are better Minute 19.99. Running time in the. And that's a wrap for the Thursday program here at Laurel Park. We'll see you Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday is another Stronic Five Day. And join us on Sunday, July 14th for five steaks here at Laurel Park. The Terrace Dining Room will be open as well. Yes, and there's crab cakes on the menu on Sunday, July 14th. That's it for Friday's program. We'll see you this weekend here at Laurel Park.